Pusha T's wife says she felt a little competition from cake faces, and we're not talking about dessert, honey. We'll explain. <laughs> Uh-oh. Also, if there's one place you'll never see Rachel McAdams, it's the waxing salon. You won't believe this. And Charlie Sheen and Chuck Lorre seem to be winning together again. We'll get into that. Welcome to Dish Nation! Hey! hey! My sister Brett, tut, tut, tut. what's going on today? Oh, oh, Tamar is Uh-oh. back in the studio. <laughs> mm-hmm. And y'all know what that means. What that means? She's been outside cutting up. Oh, <laughs> so here's what happened, okay? Tay Tay done hopped on black Twitter and tweeted. Uh-oh. Gary, do the honors, please. Why y'all ain't telling me the people in Atlanta, honey, wear fake clothes? <laughs> I'm gonna go home. <laughs> well, Delisa Unique from Netflix's The Circle hopped in the comments and said something about Tamar's fakeness and said people should be able to wear fake brands if they want to and asked our girl why she was so concerned. Then Tay Tay, of course, clapped back and said, Tanner, please do the honors. Golly, I can't do it. Why, why is it? What is what she said? <laughs> All right, here we go. Your man is fake straight, but why we both guessing with a red flag emoji? You big mad at life. Oh, here we go. Now. Get this man an oxtail. And then Delisa <laughs> called our girl corny, and Tame was and Tamar was like, "No, boo." She <laughs> said, "You corny, try again." And I said, "No, boo, you try again." Oh, okay. that's what happened. Uh, <laughs> that's what uh, happened. Was. That's what, what had happened. happened. Yeah. Why is you going back and forth with these? Okay, people? because she said. Y'all misquoted. She said that my face was fake. Ooh. Oh, so she started it. She started it. So you you just clap back as you should. I just clap back as yeah. I should. You know, we have to really normalize, like, clapping back and still being sane. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Because you can't, you're not just going to come for me. Well, my thing is, though, honey, Miss Tamar, girl, you just stepping on girls next, honey, all season. <laughs> you did candy first and not Miss Delisha, girl. Uh-huh. I just feel like, you know, I'm tired of people coming for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. over it. Mm-hmm. And, you know... I I, at some point, you got to defend yourself and move on, and that's all I'm doing. I don't have no beef with nobody but the devil. Well, I mean, but you don't... Remember that beautiful song Dion Warwick wrote, Walk On By? After I say what I say. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tamar is moving through these reality TV multiverses like mm-hmm. Kang the Conqueror. Like, right. you know, what, sorry, what, what show you about to, like, stomp on next? No, I sh- I'm not going to do that. I'm really retired. My clapbacks, I'm done. Yo, T, everybody wants to take a shot <laughs> at the queen, Red, though. Red, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Red wants me to be done so bad. What you got to say about them property brothers? You know what? <laughs> I'm in the real estate, so... <laughs> Well, speaking of all this fakeness going on, Pusha T's wife, Virginia Williams, kept it 100 with her Instagram followers this past weekend. So, one of Virginia's followers slid into her DMs and asked, was it hard dating a celebrity in the beginning? How do you handle it now? And Virginia responded, if I'm being honest, initially the only thing hard about it was being okay being the eyeball in the room, not looking like a rapper slash girlfriend wife. Um, I used to feel awkward amongst the women who had a fake ass, bodycon dress, and cake face. But for a while now, I thought I'm way cooler. Oh. Well, listen, you know, <laughs> you know, here they come, right? Yeah. The BBLs of the world come pulling up in full force, and they were not happy with a <laughs> statement, and uh, they accused her of body shaming women. Oh, hell, okay, she Okay, there's, the there's a little body shaming going on here, though, right? I mean, come on, if she's talking about the women who had a fake ass, body contrasts, and cake face. I mean, it's like, that's a different... She's just saying she don't have that stuff. She ain't say nothing bad about exactly. the people that did. So I wouldn't say it's body That's just like me saying, oh, girl, I went to this party, and all these queens up in there, girl, snap, crackling, and popping, but I didn't do all that. So you queen shame them. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> hell, yeah, exactly. I, I want to be BL. Really? really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, y'all said, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Said, really? Everybody I just want a, I want a little boom, boom, yeah, boom. Little. You know, I got a little flat to that. T, yeah. why, don't, why don't you just, like, some lunges and squats, though? Like, that doesn't work. I got no time for yeah. that. Not but ready you, for a little while. Yeah. End table booties matter, man. End table booties? All booties matter. <laughs> I definitely have a nice stand, friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so Rachel McAdams is back looking sexier than ever, showing us some skin and some armpit hair. <laughs> yes, y'all, hey. this Harry Bomb show is gracing the cover of Bustle Magazine, baby, celebrating her raw, unfiltered, minimally photoshopped boy tea, and said life is hard, but so is shaving. Look at this. Uh, life is long. Shaving is intense. You're gonna go to Bible camp and think it's okay to shave without shaving cream, and it's gonna be terrible. Always have shaving cream. 
And then if you want to stop shaving again one day, that's okay too. I agree with the life is hard. I wouldn't shave. I don't know why y'all women shave. If the Lord would have not wanted you to have hair there, he would have not put it. Listen, baby, when uh, you don't shave your hair there, your armpits stink. Okay, That's nasty. and men got hair, armpit hair, and they um, don't shave. So you want to be pretty and funky? No, thank you. Well, shave. It only uh, takes a second to hit the armpit. Come on, sister. What you mean, with a razor or water? With a razor. Oh, and water. Mm -hmm. Don't now, forget. Now, men, y'all don't have to, y'all do what y'all want to do, because mm -hmm. some men feel like I ain't shaving because it's feminine, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But a woman, it's not that much hair. It's really like, ch -ch -ch, and it's gone. Like, it's mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. not a lot. So I just really uh, think she could hit that. Yeah, but I still... <laughs> <laughs> Left Eye started that trend years ago. <laughs> really? With the armpit in? Yes. Oh, I didn't right. see that picture. Well, why? What was her reasoning? She just didn't. Because yeah. she's a woman. First off, Regina George would never. Never. You would wind up in the burn book real quick. Okay, for having that is armpits. not mm. fetch. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> fetch. <laughs> Stop trying to make hairy armpits happen. Fetch. Okay. They're not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, this next story wasn't on my bingo card for 2023 or ever. Okay, do y'all remember back when Charlie Sheen had his meltdown in 2011? Who could forget it? Right? Yeah. He was making two million dollars wow. per episode on oh. Two and a Half Men, but he very publicly per trashed episode. the show's creator, Chuck Lorre, and ended up getting fired. Hashtag winning! This is like his Tiger Blood era. Oh, yeah. That. Well, it seems like hell hath frozen over because Charlie and Chuck are about to work together again. Oh, that's Charlie right. will have a recurring role on Chuck's upcoming show, How to Be a Bookie, which will premiere on Max, formerly HBO Max later this year. Can you oh, believe it? That's cool. Yeah, I mean, Good. Charlie Sheen yeah. is one of the illest actors in the game, mm -hmm. and like his track record is, you know, unbeaten. That's what I love about those guys. If Monique could only make up with the people that kind of put her through, oh, Lord it would be Jesus. so nice. But well, you know, but he said put her on BMF. She was huh? like, you know, like the uh, the lady no, was running. She wasn't with Fifty. I'm talking about those other two big stars, but. Lord Jesus. Well, <laughs> everyone deserves a second chance. That's everyone right, honey. Does. That's right, absolutely. You know? He's the God of a second chance. Mm. That's true. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, another group of stars are getting together for upcoming project, but they never had beef. Well, at least not that we know of, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Halle Berry and Angelina Jolie. They're both going to star and produce an upcoming action thriller called Maud vs. Maud. Mm. Now, the project is the first time that they are in the same movie, so it's pretty hot. Now, we don't know much about it yet, but the movie's being described as a Bond versus Born type of global action thriller. So think salt, meat, pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I guess Holly was never in, like, in a film like that. But you know, that kind of vibe, man. Well, Y'all here for it? Holly was, way. Yeah, she was in like John Wick. She had the attack dogs. Absolutely. And Swordfish, oh. too. So she ain't Swordfish. no stranger to like that type of action. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. I have to get my body right to look at this movie. Oh. Everybody's going to be Just smashed. to go to the <laughs> to be in shape to watch a movie oh with two in shape God. people yes. in it. Yes. They're going to motivate you to feel like you ain't doing uh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay, don't you? I know you go through that because you work out a lot and so do you. Mm. Like when you look at somebody's picture and they got all these abs, I'm like, I need to go to the gym. No, I don't work out I don't work out enough and a lot of times I'll watch wrestling and you'll see all these people have just peak shape and you right. just got fish eating a pizza. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the <laughs> other thing in life. is you got to separate your brain from like what these people do to be in these movies because sometimes they're like, mm -hmm. first off, they got the chef, they got the trainer, but then other Thank times you. like they got the extra chemicals. What you mean chemicals? The new hot thing is peptide. Oh, Zan that's the new one you got to look at. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jerry said he can't even get his medicine. I'm saying that all y'all taking it here. Uh-oh. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> up next, honey, you won't believe, honey, who Justin Bieber is sleeping with. Hmm. We've got the deets after the break. Dish Nation. Dish Nation. And we're back. Hey. Hey. So, uh, recently we talked about how Marcus Houston has come under fire for the age gap between him and his wife. Who child. And now he's sharing his brutally honest thoughts on why he's never dated women his own age. Mm. Now, a 41-year-old singer and actor whose wife is 19 years his junior told reporters that he believes women his age often have baggage. Mm. He says, single mothers with children are a red flag for me. Oh. I tip my hat and respect the women that are raising children on their own, but when I grew up, I never really wanted to have kids. He claims that his dad will always tell him to have his own kids with a woman who hasn't had any yet because you never know what the baby daddies are about. Oh, so he like women that's immature. Mm. 
Christmas. <laughs> Happy Easter later. <laughs> well, I don't know that I necessarily agree with it, but I also understand if someone has a number of kids or a number of exes, there could be scenarios that you don't necessarily want to be in your life. Yeah. Like, like kids doesn't bother me. Like, one kid is totally fine. For me, when it gets to be, like, two or more, I really have to, like... What? What are you laughing at? Why are you laughing at me? Because when you said a bunch of kids with baby mothers, this one looked straight at me. Uh, I tried to curb my appetite and not even look that way. Because I know you was going to feel some type of way. That's I, why but I'm I like, don't. You know, well, decision, I don't at all. To each his own. And yeah. that's that's not something that bothers me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I always wanted to have a big family mm -hmm. and the person that I'm with has a bunch of kids. And I mean, unbeknownst to the world, I don't have baby mama drama. I've never met any of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I mean, I think there's a case by case basis. Right. You know, because there's some women out there that got two kids and three baby daddies, right? And you don't want to necessarily, <laughs> <laughs> you know, be put on defense. That's a red flag. That's definitely a red flag. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like, you know, so he wants to ease him with his little, uh, you know, uh, you know, he is also yeah. justifying <laughs> marrying this lady when she was 12. Come on, well, but that's the other yeah. thing, though, is like what he's talking about. It's like, I'm sorry, if you're 41 or 40 or whatever, it's like there are plenty of 30 year old women who don't have kids. Exactly. Come on, I, I didn't have one until I was 36. Exactly. There we go. Like, but you know what? Now. You marrying a woman or a man with a bunch of kids and stuff. My thing is this. You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. Well, go to your <laughs> damn mama your daddy then, honey, if that's the case. I wouldn't want it. But if you love a person, love who you love. Yeah, yeah for so. sure. The older you get, the more the more open you are to that's these true. sorts of scenarios. That's true. Yeah, when you love somebody, you accept whatever comes with them. That's yeah. true. No matter what it is. Oh. Okay? Yeah. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, <laughs> and there you have the <laughs> facts of life. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> well, moving on, I saw Justin Bieber said that he was blown away by Frank Ocean's Coachella performance. <laughs> but, baby, <laughs> the beeps was caught. Uh -oh. Y'all, he was caught out there getting some beauty sleep during his set. No. <laughs> yes, no. no. So, a fan at Coachella got JB on video standing in the audience with his eyes seemingly closed mm. while Frank was singing his life away on stage, child. You know, in Bieber's defense, I think he was praying. I, I looked at the Possibly. I think he was just thinking about his woman. No, yeah. No. Well, Tamar and Brett, honey, have you ever performed, honey, and seen someone a sleeping audience? Never. Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> no, baby. Never. <laughs> Forever, oh. never. They is crunk and drunk. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll hit y'all with this one. I was in a play in Los Angeles, and in the intermission of the play, one of the actors comes out, and he's like, there's this guy asleep in the audience. And I was mm. like, oh, no. I was like, what is he wearing? And he described it. It was my dad. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh he was tired. Yeah. It had been a long flight, and he goes to bed early. Oh, oh well, he get a pop-pop pass. Yeah, yeah, he get a pop-pop yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, up next, Bad Bunny was accused of dissing Harry Styles at Coachella, but find out why he's saying it wasn't me. Come right back. Uh-oh. Dish Nation. Dish Nation. Dish Nation. Welcome back. Coachella stories just don't stop. Uh -oh. So Bad Bunny was one of the headliners over the weekend, right? And he appeared to diss Harry Styles, y'all. Wow. Ooh. And fans think it's because Bunny's new girl is Kendall Jenner, who used to date Harry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so during his performance, a tweet popped up from a fan on the screen behind him saying, Benito could do as it was, but Harry could never do El Apagón. Well, y'all, a rep said that Bunny didn't approve the tweet and that the company who created the visuals took the blame, saying that he only wanted to show the picture from the tweet, but not the text. Do y'all buy this? Not at all. Is this all. a mistake? Mm. No, right? Somebody no, you don't think so? Nah. I think this is 100% on purpose, but yeah. he's got that ability to back out and be like, oh, I didn't approve the text, because the photo without any text have no context. Mm -hmm. Right. No complaints. Somebody used yeah. to work for Harry yeah. Styles working at board back Yo. then. Oh, <laughs> well, it would have offended me if I would have been there, because I would say, what are they saying, that Negro? Because what does El Apagana mean? <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, by the time I would have no. figured out what it yeah, meant, say I'd have been Sometimes home. just sit there. <laughs> No. Nope. Uh, guys, I got a, another confession. I'm like real bad about when I see like an old thing with her new thing. Of I'm always like send a little extra like on a photo or even comment underneath the photo or even be like, uh, you've been working out a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> That's that man That's stuff. so messy. Y'all men do stuff It like is, that. Brad. I'm sorry. You don't do Patty. that. You never did that. It'd be one of situations where I see somebody with my ex, you know, like when you see, like when you sell your car. <laughs> and you know all the things you did to yes. that car. It's like, you're not going to get the kind of miles right. I got out of here. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to be allowed to this 
That car is a manual well, transmission. Well, well, thunder platter. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> them brakes different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are y'all ready? It is time for a... Jeez Jeez Okay, so check this out. Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Anthony Bass tweeted about some drama his wife Sydney faced on a recent flight. He said, the flight attendant on United just made my 22 week pregnant wife traveling with a five year old and a two year old get on her hands and knees to pick up the popcorn mess by my youngest daughter. Are you kidding me? Wow. And Sydney's sister country singer, Jesse James Decker chimed in and said, my poor sister is on her hands and knees crying in the aisle, completely humiliated and exhausted with her children while everyone else watched. Way to go United. Afterwards, Jesse and Anthony both confirmed that United was handling the matter internally. But y'all, we're out here talking about this externally today. Wow. I don't think it was wrong. I thought oh that, my God. That, that, that was not wrong. What? If you teach your damn kids, honey, not to waste stuff and pick up this stuff behind themselves. This is why you don't have it. Yeah. You can just why? cut yeah. the conversation well, short. They, they, most they, of it. Oh, no. they better be glad I wasn't on that I know. plane. First off, it's popcorn. We're not talking about a spill. Yeah, we're not relax. talking about something smelly. It's, not it's that popcorn. You, I'm making your pregnant wife. Your wife just happened to be pregnant and her child just distributed all over the floor. You need to tell your child, listen to little Megan. It's not none of their houses. Yeah. It ain't none of their houses. It ain't no disrespect. Well, we show how the they airline. live then. The airline yeah. ain't paying them well, that much. No man, yeah. she, that right. popcorn to it, stay right on the damn floor. Spot, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's the fact that she did it for me because I would have said, no, baby, not uh, today. Yeah. Oh, get somebody no. else to but do it, baby. My mama didn't take us places we did there. If you messed up one time, you won't go back. Gary, there were no airplanes in 1912. But up next, the Tom Sandoval cheating scandal just keeps on giving. Find out the surprising person who knew about the affair after the break. D -D Dish Nation. And we're back with more Scandaval news. I know we all wanted it. Here we go. <laughs> Reportedly, Tom Sandoval's mother knew all about her son's affair with Raquel Levis. Mm. Word is, Tom brought Raquel to his hometown of St. Louis just weeks after her initial visit. They were at a bar with his friends when the place abruptly had to close due to an ice storm, and they decided to take shelter at Tom's mom's house, mm. which made it the first time Raquel had ever met her. Mm. Sources say mom wasn't cool with their situationship, situationship uh, but was cordial during the quick exchange. Situationship, ain't that the word? Yeah, that yep. is the word for this one. I mean, you know, mom and family always gonna have to be gang gang. You know what yep, I mean? Like, you know, sure. like even if you feel like what your son is doing wrong, you know what I'm saying? Don't blow the spot up on site and just talk to him about it later. So, I mean, I think she played it cool. I think so too. Really? I know she had an attitude though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hi. <laughs> Probably didn't give what it the best What you want towel. to eat, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, Brad, tat if your son brought his sneaky link around, what would you do? It depends on how I felt about it. Oh. Oh, Lord, she an Aries. And, and how I felt she felt about him. Ooh. Oh, yeah? If I felt like she loved him right or she mm -hmm. was good, I'd be on his side. Yeah? But if she was a whole scumbag Jezebel, <laughs> <laughs> it would be hell to the north of me. Get your ass up out of my house, little girl. Oh, Lord, I can't oh, wait man. for that. Yes. Yeah. Brat is going to be the intimidating oh, mom, don't Brad you know? Is oh, going I, to I, be I'm, a mama. I'm thinking like Will Smith's character in the second <laughs> Bad Boys movie where that, that boy went over there to the house. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be Brat. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> with my gun. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.